Welcome back on the Health Watch. When it comes to birth control, soon the shoe could be on the other foot or the pill in the other hand, actually. We're talking about the pill for men. Here's CBS medical correspondent Dr. John LaPook. You decided on the pill. The birth control pill is nearly 60 years old. There's never been one for men, and Dr. Stephanie Page says it's about time. One of the issues for men is that they really have very few options available. Dr. Page and colleagues conducted a small study showing a male birth control pill, which mimics testosterone, was safe when given daily for a month. It dramatically lowered testosterone levels with no change in mood or sexual function at the end of the month. Sex drive, maintaining muscle, all of those important male characteristics are maintained by the hormone that we're giving the men. But will it work as birth control? Normally in men, hormones from the brain stimulate the production of testosterone and sperm. The male pill works by blocking those brain hormones, which then lowers testosterone levels and is expected to shut down sperm production. We know we need to really block sperm production. So the key here is really bringing down the sperm concentrations to very minuscule levels. Social media weighed in, one woman writing, let's let our men take one for the team for once. And one man tweeted, not sure relying on us boys to remember to take it is such a good idea. Dr. Page says the next step is a three-month study to see if the pill not only lowers testosterone, but also lowers sperm count enough to be an effective form of contraception. Although this pill won't be hitting the market anytime soon, the science has arrived to imagine a future where oral contraception is an option for both women and men. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York.